You're watching KOS. Keep on shooting. Hello, guys, and welcome back to the channel. KOS, keep on shooting. As always, a pleasure to have you here. Welcome back, guys. So this video will be to see what kind of damage we can do to this water dispenser. So a destruction video, basically. <laughs> I know you guys like those. So this is kind of a... Yeah, kind of like a heavy setup that I have going on here. This is a 0.8. Let me see. I usually write it on the bands here. I create band sets and I tend to write it on there. Let's see. Yep. This is a 0 0.8, 23 mil down to 18. I was shooting uh, 10 mil lead with this setup, but I ran out of that. So we'll be shooting it with 3.8 steel. And I'll be pulling a little bit past my ear, as you can see by the long bands. So let's see what type of damage we can do to this water dispenser. I'm shooting it here on the plastic. This is dense plastic. This is, this is a looser, more fragile plastic. And this will be a metallic part here. So let's see if we can destroy it. Stick around, guys. Man, you guys really want to talk today. It is three in the afternoon and <laughs> they're crowing a lot. All right, so let's give it a few shots, guys. Look at that wind. As you guys know, I live in a windy area where the wind picks up here and there. So my apologies if the audio gets a little bit bad with that uh, wind hitting my microphone here. But let's shoot the Primo, the water dispenser there. And uh, I'm not gonna have a secondary camera as I usually do because it is, it is very hot today. It is 101 here in Texas. And we've been getting weather up to 107, believe it or not. So it'll probably, in the rooster it'll probably just heat up real fast because my second camera is not that good with the heat so i'll just shoot it like this uh, pov style and we'll just go over there and check out the damage so i'm gonna go first shot here second shot and third shot first and then we'll spec the damage to see how, how we do so cap as always goes on backwards here we go And I don't think we got penetration there. I think it bounced. Let's shoot the middle part. Oh, and by the way, I'm only about six meters away here. Six or seven meters. That one did go in. Now let's try this uh, metal part in the bottom. Shoot it there and then we'll go inspect the damage. Probably go dead center here on this area. Wind again picked up. Right where I wanted it. Let's go check it out, guys. Let's see how we did there. Come with me. All right, guys, so I'm inspecting the first shot here and I don't see any damage to it whatsoever. We'll probably take another crack at it. I think I see, I don't know if that's a shot. <laughs> no crack either. There's one tough plastic. And here in the middle part, boom, look at that. Major damage there. Here's the metal part. Big dent there. Surprised we got a dent here and not here. Huh. 
All right, guys, so here we go again. Step back a little further. Now we're at 10 meters here. So I'm gonna take two shots at that top part just because I didn't see any damage on it. So you can't have that. I know I can break that thing. That is one tough plastic there. Here we go. Oh, and by the way, if you're gonna be shooting or conducting these kind of tests, penetration tests, make sure to always wear your glasses because that ammo, especially steel, does bounce back. So play it safe, guys. Here we go. Okay, that one, I hit the top part right there. So I'll take another shot at it. That one was over here on the P. Now I'll move to the middle there. That one, no penetration on there. Let me show you again, two shots on that part. And that one I aim for the sticker, so we'll see what kind of damage we did there on the sticker. And then let's go two shots here in the bottom. one more at the bottom again going for that center section there in the middle man it is hot out here look at my arm I'm getting all sweaty all right let's go check it out guys So here in the plastic, this is the dents that it's leaving. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there. This is some tough plastic. And then here, I told you guys I aim for the sticker. So I hit it right, I don't know if you guys can see that, right next to it. There's a dent to it right there on the side no damage there and then the other shot was over here just a dent there that did not continue breaking and then here in the bottom we have the second shot and the third shot over here big dents there oh man this plastic is tough i'm gonna go see if i can find some lead guys all right, so I did find some lead ammo, guys. Let me show you. I had some bad casts in my shed. Let me show you all. As you can see, very imperfect bad cast there. Where some of it has been shot and collected. So I have this laying aside. But just for testing purposes, we should be all right. Big target there. Uh, before I move on to the lead, that uh, setup that I had I wanted to try this um, bands here most suitable for 3-8 steel lighter draw it's a precise 22 down to 12.6 so let's take a few shots three shots again we'll shoot the top part middle and then bottom this setup for Three steel. 
trying to see if there's nobody around. I don't want any, I don't want any ricoch ricochets here. Here we go. Hit it, but I did not see any penetration. Let me go to the middle part there. Hit it there in the middle, and it bounced, so did not see it penetrate. And then let's go here in the bottom. Shot it there on top and similar damage there. Let's go check it out. Okay, so no penetration on this part. This is again heavy duty plastic. It just makes a little dent on it. And this stuff is hard. And uh, yeah, no breakage whatsoever. Not even a crack on it. Great job, Primo. Very good quality products as I'm seeing here. And then here, it basically just cracked it further make the crack go up a little higher but no other damage to it and then here we have the dent at the bottom which is this one right here similar well I would say almost identical to the ones we were shooting with the 0.8 bands that's the one with the 0.8 and this is the one with a 0.6, 22 to 12. All right, let's bust out the lead. Here we go, guys. Lead ball in the pouch. Let's go for that top part. Every time I pull the bands back, the wind picks up. All right, definitely saw some damage there. I did see it bounce over here. Let's give it a shot here in the middle. Again, another lead ball here, 10 mil. bigger dent there in the middle part now let me go for this uh, bottom section right there right next to the other one right there in the top let's go check it out okay so here we have the lead ammo guys this would be the lead damage here so no penetration but a big dent there here this is where we got it with the lead no penetration i'm surprised and then here, this will be the one with the lead. Here with the residue. A little deeper than the previous shot. Okay, so as you guys saw, that lead ammo made a little bit more of a dent, but still, 
did not break that hard plastic on the top. I mean, that is some tough material. Here in the middle, well, ever since the first shot, the initial crack, it loosened up the plastic, so it has a lot of give. And I'm just noticing that it's just expanding the original crack it created. And here at the bottom part, well, as you guys can see, that's where the most damage is noticeable by the different dents there. But I wanted to try another band set. Let's give it a shot with the full butterfly. This is a precise 0 0.4, 22 straight cut for three eighths. Uh, I normally do not shoot this style because it's so windy here. You guys will see. But I'm just gonna take one shot at it just to compare. Kind of, uh, kind of curious to see what type of damage we can do. Here we go. And this is the reason I don't like to shoot full butterfly because I live in a very windy area. And I mean, just look at that. A bands, when you're pulling across your face and the bands flapping like that, uh, that's spooky. Dangerous too. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to pull this one off guys. Not this style. Let's see here. I'm waiting for it to subside a little. In the meantime, this is the Cypress Cling as Jungle. I don't think Sniper Sling sells this one anymore. So it's one in the collection. All right, here we go. Got it on that top part right there. It did, it did make some damage to it, big dent. Let's give it another shot. able to look at this wind ah wind over that was on me guys that one was on me i hurried up because i felt the breeze coming in let me redo that one oops There we go, hit the plastic and again, more damage to it. I think I broke the button there on the top. Okay guys, so here we have the damage. On the button, penetration on there, but of course, this one's a little thinner plastic, as you can see. And this one is a lot denser. Same material over here in the top which is where we got the second shot. I'm not the most accurate full butterfly, but uh, I'm happy with these two shots, especially with these windy conditions. I mostly shoot um, short draw or long draw, but full butterflies, which are holding this kind of style, you know, holding the ball, I'm still working on that. But still, we got a shot here. As you can see, big, big dent there look at that that ball was traveling with a lot of speed you gotta give me a crony i'm intrigued to see how much or how fast they're going that's the damage on the inside no crack again very dense and flexible plastic same as this material 
but still look look at that just a lot of damage there okay so just for comparison i'm gonna hit that top part with the back of an axe since that seems the area that seems to be the toughest to dent up or, or break that broke the dents there i mean that's pretty pretty noticeable but here man that's some tough material uh, very flexible too it flexes it almost absorbs the shock from the projectile so let's keep it blunt the blunt side and uh let's see how much damage it can take let's go ahead and take a big swing at it pretend that i'm trying to hit a homer here <laughs> and i have my rooster shearing me in the background as well so i should do all right here we go Well, Dad definitely did it. <laughs> Let's check it out. Here we have it, guys. Finally, we were able to crack this energy absorbing but firm plastic here. Look at how much that flexes. As you can see, we can see the hole print of the back of the axe here this is where I hit it that's the damage to it pretty cool sure the dents from the projectiles as you can see here at a better angle so good dents but no penetration they just kept bouncing and then we went full butterfly Broke the button and made a major dent here as well. I want to take one more swing at it because I just want to see after it breaks, see if we can do more damage. Because in this part, it broke and the more I hit it, it just kept expanding the original hit or the crack. So I'm going to hit it up here. See if we can expand it, more damage to it, or if it becomes more flexible than what it is. Let's check it out. Again, I'm gonna pretend I'm back in the day playing a baseball game, trying to hit a home run here. And I don't think there's any much water dispenser left. Okay, so here we have it, guys. More damage here. Or I should say, major damage there. Huh. I could probably use this wiring for some other projects. And some LED lights, cool. I can repurpose all of this and look at that guys as expected it just absorbed that blow i don't know if you guys can see oh, it's kind of hooked up here there we go we put it over here in the grass this is the dent where i hit it the second time and as you can see it just absorbed all that energy creating no further cracks on the plastic it's a pretty tough material all right so we shot it with some slingshots we tried different latex different setups we even hit it with the back of an axe pretending we we're hitting a home run let's bring out the tomahawk why not <laughs> let's see if we can stick it this is the M48, by the way, M48 Hawk by United Cutlery. I use, I use this thing a lot, as you can see by the wear on it here on the land. Here we go. Whoa, 
I hit it, but it did not stick. Let's check out the damage. There's my hawk. And there's where I hit it. And again, a lot of give, so it did not stick, bounce back. Let's try that again. Here we go. Trying to see, maybe the spike will stick better. Let's see if we can stick it this way. There we go. Dead center on it. Big damage. Let's go check it out. There's the hawk. And there's the damage there. Shall we do one more shot on this side? Why not? Here we go. Hit the bottom of it. There, as you can see, big dent. Let's give it another shot. I'm trying to go more for the middle part. All right, here we go. Retrieve the hawk. Big dent there, but I want more damage here in this area. Let's redo that. There we go. Right where I wanted it. Let's go check it out. There's my tomahawk. And this is where we hit it. Man, I'm surprised how tough this plastic is. I was expecting a lot more crack than just this corner for something that's this sharp. But hey, not bad. So we bring out the blowgun. <laughs> you guys know it. Let's bring it out. The .625 Magnum. Here we go, guys. The .625 Magnum. Shooting some, I got four mini broadheads on here. Let's give those a shot. Let's go for the metal part first. Let's see if we can penetrate it. No penetration, a big dent. Go for the middle part here. Wow, even that bounced. That's, those are pretty sharp. I mean, look at that. Take another shot at it here in this part. There it is. I put a little bit of more breath into that one. <laughs> and I have one more shot here. Um well, here there's a little more plastic part. I know for sure the styrofoam will be a, definitely penetration there. So let me go again over here in this part, the metal frame. I'll try to give it more power, the biggest breath I can give. A big dent again. Couldn't get it to penetrate though. Let's go check it out. Got some darts there on the ground. And uh, look at that. Kind of penetrated a little there. On both shots, they just bounce back. I 
over here in the plastic again the first one it just bounced this is where i hit it the first time made it bounce back and then this is the second one um again the plastic has a lot of give i was expecting more penetration to be honest with you but just the tip is on there i could remove this real easily <laughs> so that's the hole all right guys so for the final weapon i'll be choosing to destroy or continue destroying this water dispenser it's a good old bow and arrow this is the psc archery i'm sorry psc adapt ldr with some link boy archery arrows that's what i meant to say the arrows are link boy archery and this have a spine of 400 in case you're wondering let's give it a shot this bow is so light it's usually the one i use to practice with my daughters so i don't know if we'll get any penetration on there let's give it a shot i don't use uh come on roosters i don't use a glove with this bow because it is 25 pounds so very light Get it over here. Shot number two. <laughs> Got the top. Let me bring it down a little bit more. Knock. needs replacement as you can see there we'll see if we can make it work yep and knocked let's see if we can make it shoot straight let's go for the middle part that's the part that i want to see if it can penetrate There we go, middle part. And it barely penetrated on there. Let's go check it out, guys. Again, PSC Adapt LR. In case you're wondering. 25 pound practice bow. Here we have it, guys. This one was stuck on here, but it just fell down on my way over here. So it did penetrate, but not that much though. And it just fell just fell off on its own and then this one came over here on the side as you can see here okay guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh me just having fun destroying this water dispenser before i throw it out i did manage to open up the inside which is what i wanted so that i can use some of the parts there for other projects so i was able to get that out so you guys take care thank you once again for all the support we really do appreciate it guys and as always you know you guys know what's coming keep on shooting see you guys on the next one